Hello Prime Coders, welcome back to Prime Coding channel. So in today's video, I will be talking about how to take input in Java at Python language. Okay, my forget about C++? No. Already covered C++, all the situations, how you need to take input, how you need to work with TCS and QT compiler in the examination. Okay, I will let you know where would be the link. So many students get failed on this particular stage. They know how to implement or how to write the logic, but they don't know how to take the input. So if you are from Java or Python, this video will help you out to ace your upcoming TS and QT question. As I mentioned, this is a C++ video which I uploaded just 80 hours back. Okay, you can just check in the I button which might be on the uh, top right of mine. Okay, so you can just check. Otherwise, you can go to the description. You will find in the suggested videos. Okay, so this video would be pinned. Please go and watch if you are from C++. Okay, so now. This is multiple situations. So if you have already watched the C++ video, I explained all the situations that there would be a two, three situations in your TCS and QT compiler. Someday they will give you input like four uh, would be your size of the array. Five, four, three, two, one would be the array of the array. Okay, array of the uh, elements of the array. Okay, so five, four, six, two, one, simple without any N, they given you all the elements. Okay, so you need to take the input in this particular manner as well as this is the third, which repeats most of the time, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, comma. You can see under comma and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is another time. Okay, so I hope, I hope this multiple situations has been covered. This is the overview of it. Okay, so let me talk about the Python code for now. Okay, so Python code is def input with size. Okay, let's say this is the best case which I'm talking about because n is given, we can take the input. On the second line, array will be given, we can take the input. Now people must ask, yeah, list map won't work. It gonna work, okay? It will definitely work. You just need to be very uh, straightforward. If you got some EOF error or something, then only think about that. Your input is not able, like compiler is not able to give the input or your code is not able to take the input. If EOF error is there. But in Python, what actually happening most of the time is this uh, important, which is indentation error most of the time. Why? Because many of us have habit of pressing tab for indentation. Let's say if you are writing the code in notepad, we'll definitely use tab to have indentation. But in TCS and QT compiler, tab, tab spaces were not registered. Okay, so how many times you click tab, your spaces count would be zero itself. So what you need to do? Instead of tab, you just you just you need to use uh, spaces. Okay, four times spaces for indentation or two times spaces for indentation is upon you. Okay, but in tab generally four spaces are there, so you can use four spaces button like space button one two three four and you are done to maintain the indices. Please, I will repeat yourself, don't click tab because tab is not registered in the TCS and QT compiler. Although it may be, it is totally of 2025 uh, October batch experience as well as uh, 2024 and later batches. Okay, so this was this issue was there. But yes, if they uh, improve their compiler, then it is a good point. But still, if we are not able to maintain the indentation, use spaces right away. So let me discuss the second approach where uh, no n is given but the beauty of python is you don't require actually okay so list of a uh, map str you can just take the input in str why i am uh, focusing on str for now you can either use str or you can either uh, use integer okay not a problem but in compiler in tcs compiler what actually happen is in the question they mentioned that they will be providing you an integer format but in real life they are giving you input in string format that is also one of the situations but try to uh, take input simply what question says if you are not able to take input then change the data types okay so don't go straight away write string and something okay have patience Go step by step. If you got this error, then you will implement this. If you got this error, you will implement this. Okay. So this is the point that you need to focus on or two of the cases is discussed. Now, uh, most used input format, which is this one, which most of the time people use in DCS and QT. Okay. Most of the time, the constraint by the question is also from 0 to less than equivalent to n less than equivalent to 10, where not n, it should be a of i. Okay, well, an array of elements would be less than equivalent to 9. So, 10 elements would be there of single digits. So, if it is single digit, you just need to take a simple string, then iterate on it. If that digit is digit, like any function you can use in is digit or something, if it is a digit, then you can straight away put it into the array, converting into integer pos. Okay, let, let me tell you what it, this approach says. Before going to this approach, the example inputs can be... Uh, 
स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट फ्लावर ब्रैकेट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन देयर कंपाइलर थिंक वन कमा टू कमा थ्री कमा फोर स्ट्रेट अवे गिव इट टू यू एज इनपुट और इट कैन बी वन कमा टू कमा थ्री कमा फोर विल बी गिव टू यू एज इनपुट नाउ इफ यू गेट दिस यू नीड टू टाइवर्स सो सेम थिंग ओके नम स्ट्रिंग एज क्रिएटेड एर एज बिंग क्रिएटेड वाई आई विल लेट यू नो सो नम एस टी आर प्लस एच यू डोंट नीड टू एड इफ the constraint said that it is the number would be from 0 to 9 okay so 0 to 9 but remember you took the inputted string format and definitely you need to convert into integer then only append into array so that you can perform your operations okay so yeah i hope this time is very clear so yeah uh, num plus str ch why i am doing is because here i can see there is only one one digit each part isn't it so what if if there is 2 3 2 then we have 3 4 5 then we have 6 by 6 so if you don't apply the elif case then definitely every digit would be considered uh, every number digit would be considered as digit okay so in your array your array will look like this which is not a right way okay so you we don't need to do this so please try to use elif condition if your constraint said that number would be of two digit or three digit as well okay so elif condition what it will do is if any time i found that it is not a digit then definitely i encounter either comma or the flower packet so please append whatever i have uh, created in my num string by appending into the string just type cast it before appending it so that integer value will go into my array and i will perform the logics okay and then please make sure that num string would be set as empty as it is okay so if num start why because it may be it may be in this case as you can see after four we don't have any stopper it may be comma it may be uh, codes nothing is there so our num string would have something in the last of my iterations so we need to check whether it has something if it then definitely convert into integer and append into the array okay and simply print the array as it is so this is the most used format that you can use in the worst case situations or let's say if they are providing the input in this particular format okay i hope this makes sense to you now let's discuss about tcs and qt 2025 third october shift question this is a working code okay this code worked in tcs and qt compiler yes i found out multiple candidate who wrote c++ python java code c++ code already taken care of my uh, video which is pinned in the i button or in the description you can just watch uh, otherwise java and python code we'll discuss now okay so array equal to int of c for c in s is c is digit okay so if c is digit i am just appending everything into my array because because i took input in a uh, string format it is not required to strip okay it is not required to strip just take input in a single line then pass that input into a uh, check equal average now here i am iterating on everything okay whatever if it is digit just Uh, putting into inside and finding a total sum of it okay now this we considered as the input is in this particular format took a direct input okay but yes if the constraint say that the digit would be this one this one this one then definitely you need to use the most used string format which would be very easy instead of array like this you just need to call the function which we saw just now and you are done okay so yes think like that because just put that or use that approach which is corresponding to that situation i want to say that only okay so total sum would be sum of array and cur sum is zero so simply do forget about this logic because i will be covering this all questions very soon but before that you should know how to take inputs properly okay so yeah this is the particular way to take the input but here i will repeat the input is assumed as space separated value okay so if that is then digit we are just appending it and other assumption is all digit is of one length all number is of one length okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 not beyond that okay so i hope i am clear with this particular uh, code which is working in tcs in 20 uh, like 2025 tcs in 2025 october ship so now c++ did python is well we are pending with pending with java the homework for all python candidate is uh, think like this where the circle yellow circle is the length of the array okay this is the another pattern which we found in 2024 tcs and qt that length of the array is also given in a single line like 4 which means 4 is the length of array now you need to separate it so 1 3 4 5 would be the array element similarly 2 comma 2 comma which means 2 is the end comma after that all would be the array element so you need to uh, pass it so same here 2 5 4 3 6 so you have everything with comma separated value and one is space separated value which is 5 okay so if you got 5 which means it's an 
add element and it will be stated in the quotient itself. Okay, or you will do recognize by yourself. But yeah, this is the very bad condition because it's repeated one and twice. If you see the 2024 uh, all shift solution, you will find this kind of situations as well. Okay, or I also create the input video in 2024 as well, which was uh, got hit by multiple people. So yes, you can also watch that. Otherwise, this will help you out for sure. Okay, try to uh, do the homework and put your thing in the description below.